Simon Poirier and Justin Gaethje. The most exciting man in mixed martial arts today, my fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4, or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men. They're gonna go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you can see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje, and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gage. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched, and landing punches as much as just Gage. He's right where he wants to be. Gage gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. 30 total strikes of winning. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go chase that finish down now. at which he throws is crazy. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that right hook. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He feels real bad. That part's landed in the perfect spot. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of... Oh! So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek system. Second round here. Oh! He needs to start looking the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be, oh, he might be out. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find it. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, nice high kick. Oh, straight right. So as we call on the numbers, 54 total strikes 
have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And the connection rate pretty good, 44% accuracy tonight against Justin Gaethje. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Poirier gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Warrior.